Guys, welcome to Investors Vibe. My name is Philip, and today I'll be taking the opportunity to talk to you about Unibright Token. Let's get right ahead. Um, Unibright integrates business processes into blockchain without a single line of code. The framework is built to make it easier for enterprises to benefit from blockchain without having any expertise. It is important because I think enterprises that choose to ignore the efficiency of blockchain or other decentralized networks are more likely to lose their businesses to those that embrace this evolution. Although the adoption of decentralized protocols is only going to increase from here, I also think that the talents and the investments needed to build this infrastructure can be a huge challenge. Companies with proven business models and expertise in existing IT systems are going to have a slow transition to this modern, more efficient and future-proof systems because they are already making money with existing IT systems and business models. So they are going to be reluctant in changing their businesses. The introduction of Unibrise framework aims to speed up this process. It's blockchain agnostic, which makes it independent from any specific blockchain like Ethereum. The framework defines business workflows visually and automatically generates smart contracts for various blockchains, smart adapters to connect to existing systems as well, and smart query sets to monitor the ongoing business process. Unibrise is part of many alliances and has many partnerships and integrations. One of those that stands out and is very, very popular is baseline protocol. The baseline protocol is a standard that enables enterprises to synchronize complex multi-party business processes with privacy and also without moving data from systems of record. This alliance stands out in the crypto space because of the dedication and involvement of high profile companies. The list includes Microsoft, Einstein Young, and AMD. There are many others, but just to mention a few. Unibright uses this standard in building its own baseline protocol and it's known as Base Ledger. They recently launched it and it's now active and you can build on it. If you are not aware of Base Ledger yet, well, all you need to know is it is a public permissioned council governed blockchain network. It fulfills this major requirement of enterprise organization for participating in baseline enabled processes. It's a council governed blockchain, like I've said before, and it uses proof of stake consensus mechanism. This enables low fixed costs and also high and guaranteed performance, data privacy compliance, multi-chain coordination and off-chain integration by design. In code, it works as a middleware between existing networks and also the new modern blockchain and decentralized networks. I would also like to talk about their involvement with European Investment Fund. The European Investment Fund investigating use of baseline protocol for digital transformation. The European Investment Fund, the EIF, is a financial institution for the provision of finance to SMEs and it is headquartered in Luxembourg. It is part of the European Investment Bank Group. In 2021, it received 30 billion euros from its parent company just to invest. On EIF website, it states the feasibility study looks at the use of concepts and models of the baseline protocol in the context of a potential EU-wide intermediated financing platform for small businesses. Enterprise adoption of base ledger seems very, very likely, and I am looking forward to that. This is old, but it is also gold. Unibright partner with Corner Service to establish Coca-Cola Bottling Harbor. This has been going on for years now, I think. The partnership was in 2020 or something of that sort. So yeah, it's, it's great. All of this is being powered by the UBT token. In case you did not know, that is the use case of the UBT token. So it is a utility token required by enterprises as the lances to using the base ledger protocol. This makes it a great token to hold, in my opinion. Currently, the price is trading around 23 25 cents range. If you are already hodling, make sure it's stored safely on the wallet that you actually own, the wallet that you have the private key. I always advise people to do that. In case you need to buy some, it's trading on Uniswap, Bitrex. The full list of exchanges can be found on CoinMarketCap. This is my opinion about the price, right? I'm going to do a little bit of price prediction. Usually it's not something I try to do because it takes time and patience for some of these things work out, right? At the peak of the bull market, it went as high as $4.20. It has to do about 20X just to hit the previous all-time high. Also, this proves how low everything has sunk and the huge opportunity this provides. With a max supply of 150 million tokens, at $10 tokens, we will be looking at a market cap of $1.5 billion. The right amount of enterprise adoption, community building awareness, and I think this is easy. 
within reach. You will need to be patient though, like I've said before. I'm not going to try to sell for 5X or something. I'm going to hold till it hits at least $10. That's when I will start to look at my exits. This means there will be some ups and downs that I will sit through. But even if here and there I take profit, I will still come back and buy into it. And I feel like until it hits a market cap of 1.5 billion, it's always going to be very, very undervalued. And now it's not just about Unibright. The current market conditions makes most cryptocurrencies with great fundamentals stands out. So guys, I wanted to bring this to your attention. My name is Philip. Here is Investors Vibe. And I hope you stay along and I hope you subscribe hit on the notification bell. I review cryptocurrencies with great potentials. Uh, mostly I look at the fundamental analysis instead of trying to follow the memes and all that. So if you are interested in that, please make sure you subscribe and hit on the notification bell. Check out my channel. There are many, many interesting videos that you can also look into. Thank you and another time. Bye.